She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kiana and today I have a really quick sewing tutorial and pattern for you guys. I created this silky mini skirt. I love the look of these mini skirts that are just super flowy and silky and have no waistband. Um, so I just think it's so beautiful because it's so simple. Like it's the same amount of work if you did a skirt like with a waistband and like a centered zipper. I just love how beautiful and simple the skirt looks. Oh. I just love it. Anyways, of course, it doesn't have to be satin fabric. I just chose to use that because I'm kind of going through a satin phase right now. But for fabric recommendations and also like links to fabrics that I do recommend that you use, check down below in the description. The fabric I used was actually supposed to be the exact same as the fabric I used for the cowl neck, um, but clearly it was different. It like, it didn't feel the same. It wouldn't press nicely. But anyways, I will give you the fabric that I recommend down below. And the pattern is available on Etsy. So it's the first link down below in the description. And this pattern comes in a size double zero to 14 US sizing. But of course I have the conversion chart in there if you're not from the United States. And this pattern is super beginner friendly, so it's great for anyone who hasn't been sewing for a long time. Or if you have and you just want a freaking cute skirt, this is a great pattern. <laughs> also check the description for all the supplies and information you need to complete this project. That information will also be in the Etsy pattern pack and in the Etsy pattern description. So definitely go check out my pattern, support a small business, please. Yeah, and if you wanna learn how to create the skirt, just keep watching. So first off, of course, I'm going to be printing out my pattern pieces and I'm printing out sizes double zero through four because six through 14 are on separate sheets of paper. I'm lining up the pieces of paper by matching up those letters at each corner of the paper. And then I'm going to be taping everything together with some packing tape. And also I like printing out my pattern on cardstock just so it's a little bit more durable. I'm choosing to create a US size two, so I'm just cutting on that corresponding line. This is what the front and back of your skirt will look like. As you can see, the back of the skirt is longer because we have this thing called a butt and we need to account for that. So these are all three of our pattern pieces. And then I'm going to bring that over to my fabric, lay it out on the fold and then cut out each of my pattern pieces. I'm not just folding the fabric in half and cutting everything on the same fold. I'm trying to make little folds all over the fabric so that I can maximize my fabric to be cost efficient and sustainable. But of course, you know, I've included a suggested cutting layer out for you guys in the pattern so that you don't waste fabric either. So you're gonna cut everything out on the fold and you're gonna cut out one front, one back, and two facings. This is the front of my skirt with the right side facing up. I like to put zippers in on my left side. So imagining me wearing this skirt right now, the right side of our screen would actually be the left side of our skirt. So that is the side I'm going to put the zipper in. And then this is the side I'm going to sew a regular seam on. I place the back of the skirt on top of the front of the skirt, right sides together. As you can see, the back is longer. And then I'm going to sew the seam with a half inch seam allowance and then finish the raw edges with a serger. If you don't have a serger, you can turn and stitch your edges however you like to finish them. And then for the other side, I'm going to finish each edge individually by serging them. If you don't have a serger, again, you can turn and stitch your edges. And then I'm going to repeat that same exact process for the facing. I'm going to sew and serge one side and then just finish the edges of the other side. So this is the facing all finished up. And then I'm going to open it up and then just serge along the wide edge. Then of course, I'm going to bring my garment over to the ironing board and press my seams as I go along. So I'm pressing the skirt seam and then I'm pressing the facing seam. Next up, we are going to be installing our invisible zipper. I like to get my zippers a little bit longer than needed. So I got a 10 to 12 inch invisible zipper and I'm marking where I want that zipper to stop and then pinning the zipper up until that point. For me, this was 10 inches below the waist of the skirt. Then I bring it over to my sewing machine. I attach my zipper foot to the sewing machine and then sew all the way down until the pin. To make sure I install the zipper evenly on both sides, I'll close the zipper and then mark where the zipper should stop with a pin on both the zipper and on the skirt. And then I will just flip the zipper over to start pinning it on our skirt. I'll match up those two pins and then I will pin along the zipper and then sew the zipper in the same way that I sewed the other side. Now we need to finish up sewing the seam. So I'm pulling the zipper out 
pinning along the rest of that seam and then I'm using my zipper foot to get really close to that zipper and sew all the way along that edge keeping my half inch seam allowance. I pressed the seam with an iron and as you can see here I did trim off the bottom of that zipper so that there was only like an inch left of the zipper that wasn't attached to the skirt just because we didn't need that anymore. And then this part is very optional, but I'm just going to wax my thread and then hand sew that zipper tape to the seam allowance of the fabric with a basting stitch like so. You could also machine stitch this or not do it at all, but this just keeps the zipper tape secure to the seam allowance so that everything stays down and nice and flat. Um, but I'm just using a basting stitch, which is just me um, weaving the needle in and out through the fabric like so, all the way down until I get to the very end of the zipper, and then I tie it off with a knot. Now I'm pinning the facing to the skirt right sides together and I'm pinning along the waist seam because I'm going to be sewing that with a half inch seam allowance. I also have pinned the facing over here where the zipper is because I'm going to be sewing that with a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm doing that first and I'm using my zipper foot still so I can get close to the zipper but not right at the zipper. So it should look like this. And then I'm going back to the waist of the skirts and then sewing with a half inch seam allowance all the way down. And then this part is so incredibly important. When you're sewing this waistline seam of the skirt, you cannot pull or stretch this seam at all or the skirt will not fit you. I repeat, you cannot stretch this at all or the skirt will just absolutely not fit you because it's um, the sides are kind of on the bias and so that will stretch out as you sew it. So make sure you're pushing the fabric and not stretching it at all or your skirt is not going to fit you. And then I'm going to also be finishing this edge with my serger. I'm going to clip the corners where the zipper is and then I'm going to be under stitching the facing. To do this, I have my facing on the right, the skirt on the left and the seam allowance underneath pointing towards the facing. I'm going to move my needle and get it as close as I can to the edge. You're not going to be able to get it all the way. And then I'm going to just be stitching about like an eighth of an inch away from that seam line on the side of the facing, making sure to catch the facing and the seam allowance. And this will just keep the facing from rolling out while you're wearing the skirt. Then the skirt has a half inch hem allowance, so I'm turning under the end of the skirt a quarter inch twice, and then lengthening my stitch on my sewing machine to go ahead and just stitch that hem down. To further prevent the facing from rolling out while you're wearing the skirt, I'm going to be tacking the facing down at the side seam. It's already basically tacked down, I guess, because of the zipper on that side, um, but this side, it's kind of, you know, just hanging free. So we wanna tack that down. So I'm just taking my needle and thread and then tacking the facing to the seam allowance of this side seam right here and then knotting it off. Lastly, this is kind of optional, but I wanted to add a hook and eye closure at the top of my zipper just so everything stayed nice and secure. And after that, you are completely done and this is the final skirt. Okay, and so that is how you make this skirt. Hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know what requests you want in the future. Um, and let me know if you have any comments, questions, anything like that. Oh, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Remember that the link to this pattern is the first link down below. I hope you consider supporting me and I hope you enjoy creating the skirt if you decide to do so. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.